Good afternoon, everybody. Uh, I will present my joint paper with Mathilde Morel, The Impact of Education and Electricity Access on TFP on the Senegalese Economy. The aim of this paper is to investigate the relationship between total factor productivity, uh, electricity access, and education level in Senegal. For this purpose, uh, we estimated the TFP at the firm level over the period 1998 until 2011. After we um, estimated the long run relationship between these variables using the pool mean group estimator and the dynamic ordinary list squares. <clears throat> By the following, I will present the intervention plan. So first, I will summarize the different industrial policy in Senegal based on the scoping paper on Senegal, uh, written by uh, Choi and Fatou Sisse and Mathilde Morel. After, I will ident identify the main obstacles of industrial development in Senegal. And finally, I will um, uh, introduce the empirical approach and conclude. From the independence until now, uh, until now the Senegalese economy uh, were enrolled in different economic programs and industrial policy to sustain the economic growth in the long run and to promote the industrial sector. The first graph compared the per capita GDP on Senegal and the other uh, Western African economies and uh, we can identify four major periods and uh, three major events. Uh, from the independence till the 70s, um, we can see that the per capita GDP rise in Senegal but still remains below the level of other Western African economies. In 1980, the government uh, adopt the first adjustment program to cope with um, the decline of macroeconomic aggregates and to achieve a balance of uh, budgetary public, uh, of public budget, budgetary, sorry. But this program failed and the main reason it identified for this is the currency misalignment. After the devaluation of 1994 and with the support of International Monetary Fund, the government uh, launched a series of economic reforms and, um, and industrial policy to sustain the economic growth in the long run. So over the period from uh, over the period 2000 until the financial, financial crisis, the per capita GDP grows but remains unstable. In association with these economic reforms, the government adopts several um, industrial policy. From the independence until the 70s, um, uh, this policy um, uh, is were defined by a high level of state intervention and the main objectives were the import substitution and to, um, pr to create heavy industry plants um, and also to, um, to replace the private sector in key industry uh, like um, water and electricity. With, in 1980 and with the launch of the structural adjustment program, the government adopts a new industrial policy and by now the, obje the objective is to remove the import uh, restriction and to um, arise the contribution of industrial of, uh, uh, to, of to arise uh, uh, the contribution in exports of, uh, of uh, high value added activities. Um, however, this uh, policy fade. Um, indeed, we can see, uh, we can state that 50% of the firms fade out and some major companies um, uh, didn't survive to the opening of the domestic, uh, domestic market to uh, foreign competitors. Uh, after the devaluation and since 2000, the government adopts a new accelerated growth strategy 
with a new industrial redeployment policy and the objective uh, was to increase the contribution of industry of manufacturing sector in the economic growth at least by 25% at the end of 2010 Overall we, can, uh, overall, we can see that um, the, uh, the, industrial sector, the industrial sector in Senegal suffers from uh, many obstacles. And um, while the literature um, defines these obstacles like geography or political risk, risks, uh, etc., the African Bank of Development identified two major obstacles, namely the, electric, uh, the quality of electric power supply and uh, education. <clears throat> considering the education, um, considering the education, um, an efficiency would be happened by a balance between supply and demand in the job market. For, in Senegal, the job market is more open for, uh, for, work, for um, job seekers from primary, secondary, or even vocational level um, of education. The table shows the gross secondary enrollment rate in Senegal in comparison with other sub-Saharan Africa, and we can see that this rate is uh, below the level of uh, sub-Saharan African countries whereas the level of uh, higher education enrollment is much higher in Senegal in comparison with other sub-Saharan African countries. This situation denotes a mismatch between uh, supply and uh, demand in the, um, in the job market in Senegal um, and, um, and the rising and the important uh, supply of higher graduated workers uh, and this situation will um, cause at the long term um, the choice of some of um, higher educated workers to return to unemployment or even to emigrate. For instance, 50% uh, of Senegal doctors and 27% of uh, nurses have been immigrated from 1995 until 2005 and mainly to France. So the first, so the first uh, issue uh, identified for the Senegalese economy is to try to, um, to better match the, um, the need of the firms in the, um, in the Senegal by focusing on, ed on uh, primary, secondary and enrollment uh, and uh, technical uh, training rather than in higher education. The African uh, Bank uh, African of um, Development um, identify one other issue for the industrial sector, namely the, the quality of electricity access. Uh, the table show the, this access um, in the urban area and rural and the comparison between middle income, low income and the Senegalese access. We can see that this level is, um, this level is at the same uh, of middle income countries considering urban access, but in the rural access, uh, the level is much lower um, than the middle income countries. Moreover, um, a recent firm study um, identify, uh, um, a recent firm study um, highlights um, electricity access as the major problem uh, identified by firms. Uh, about 58% state that is um, a major problem and 85% of the firms state they state that, that they had uh, a power shortage during the last month. And for information, each uh, uh, power shortage, um, its duration, it's around eight hours, which uh, represents um, um, a waste of time and activity for the firms. So for, from this first part, we can identify two major uh, obstacles to uh, the growing to the growth of the productivity in the, sec uh, in the industrial sectors. The mismatch between um, 
uh, demand and supply in the, in the job market and the uh, electricity access. So to assess this relationship between productivity and these two, two variables, we are going to estimate the TFP at the firm level and to estimate the long run relation, relationship between these three variables. Uh, the database, the QC database, uh, the single information collection center database provide um, firm level data on 4,000 4, firms across 23 uh, manufacturing sectors. The data span is from 1998 until 2011. Uh, the time series on value-added capital stock and labor are provided by the same database. For the determinant of TFP, we identify two main determinants, namely the human capi capital measured by the sectoral employment shares of the different qualification degree and the electricity, and the electricity access. Uh, for the electricity access, we have this data uh, only at the economic, at the um, aggregated level, but we make the assumption that there is a proportional relationship uh, between uh, relation between the size of tangible assets and the electricity access. So we construct, uh, so we um, calculate the electricity access at the sectoral level. <clears throat> then the first part is the estimation of the TFP, and for this we, um, we consider a standard Cobb douglas production function, and we estimate it using uh, ordinary list squares with fixed effects. Uh, and the main results are, are the parts, um, the chair of uh, labor are around uh, 54% and the share of capital is around 46%, which is in line with the finding of uh, recent study made by, um, by the OCDU. The graph shows the um, distribution of annual average growth through uh, the 23 sector, and we can see that for the extractive um, uh, industries, uh, the productivity is much higher, uh, whereas for uh, food industry and uh, food production industry and um, f uh, footwear, the productivity is much negative. After the estimation of the TFP, we uh, we try to assess if there uh, long-run relationship between the productivity factor at the sectoral level and the main determinant identified in this paper, namely the electricity access and human capital. So before proceeding to the test, uh, to the estimation, we need to make some tests. Uh, the first one is, uh, the first one, uh, the first one is to test if there is some cross-section dependence between the sector. Uh, that means uh, we try to control if there is some unobserved factor which can affect all the sector, such financial crisis or some economic reforms decided and which could uh, affect all the sector. Uh, the test rejects uh, the, the hypothesis of no cross-sectional dependence and therefore uh, we can test for the order of integration of the, um, of the variables. For this we use three unit root tests, two um, didn't account for the cross-section cross dependence and the third one take, uh, take into account this cross-section. The results show that all the variables are integrated of order one uh, which means that we have just to differentiate it one time uh, to, have the, um, to have the variable stationary. The second step is to uh, check if there is a long-run equilibrium relationship between these three variables. For this, we run uh, the Westerland co-integration test. Um, which is computable under the assumption of cross-section dependence. Uh, 
uh, and we can see that all the statistics of the test uh, reject uh, the null hypothesis of no co-integration, which means that there is a long-run relationship uh, between our three variables. Uh, once we have assessed uh, if there is a, a long-run relationship, we, uh, we, we, we now estimated uh, the parameter of this relationship using two estimators. The first one is the dynamic ordinary list squares, and the second one is the PMG groups. For the dose estimators, um, we use a regression uh, in which we introduce um, lag and lead of the first explanatory variables as regressor of uh, the TFP. Uh, the results from this estimation uh, showed that, shows that 1% increase of ski technician and electricity access um, raised the TFP in the long run by uh, 24% um, and the 21% respectively. However, the impact of senior managers in the long run is significantly negative. The second estimator used is the pool mean group estimator, and we use two estimators to check the robustness of our results. The PMG estimator uh, gives the coefficient coefficient in the short run and the long run, and also give the speed of adjustment toward the long run relationship. And overall, we find the same results um, uh, in, the, in the long run. Ski technician and electricity access had, have a positive effect, whereas senior managers um, have a negative effect. This uh, relationship is different in, if we consider the short run uh, in sense of um, senior managers have a, a positive effect, which means that high-skilled uh, high skilled, um, workers um, impact positively uh, the TFP only in the short run, but in the long run, this effect wears off. Uh, instead of uh, te uh, ski technician, where we have a negative impact in the short run, but in the long run, uh, the, um, the impact is positive. Considering electricity access, uh, we have the same effect in the short run and in the long run. The difference is instead of the coefficient, in the short run, um, the access will... Um, increase the TFE by 12%, and in the long run, the impact is more higher, 29%. Um, the results, uh, we can conclude this presentation by saying that the determinant, the main determinant of TFP identified by the African Bank De of Development, namely electricity access and education or human capital, um, have a positive effect on the long run and have a positive effect on the long run. Um, uh, and we can summarize by saying that um, um, that the Senegalese economy need mo more to focus on um, uh, technical skills to, imp to match the need of the firms and to um, improve the quality of uh, electricity access um, at the, in the, to improve at, in, in the long run uh, the productivity at the industrial sector. Thank you. Thank you.